Today, the 379th Air Expeditionary Wing is one of the largest, most diverse expeditionary wings in the Air Force. Though April 2015 marks the 13th anniversary since its most recent reactivation, the history of the 379th reaches back more than 70 years to World War II. Originally activated in 1942 as a 379th Bombardment Group, the B-17s and Army Air Corps members assigned to the 379th deployed for combat for the first time out of Kimbolton, England. Their mission? To support the Precision Strategic Bombing Campaign against German industrial and military targets. The B-17s were the perfect aircraft with their high-flying, long-range and defense abilities, and by 1944, its airmen earned the distinction of being the only unit to ever be awarded the 8th Air Force Grand Slam. A Grand Slam is a combination of accuracy, power, and efficiency that encompasses the entire group, from the bombardier, to the pilot, to the waste gunner, to the maintainer. In other words, the 379th had the greatest percentage of bombs on target, greatest bomb tonnage dropped, lowest aircraft losses, and lowest aircraft abort rate. The 379th still carries this badge of honor through continued operations over the past 70 years. Following World War II, the 379th Bombardment Group was deactivated and the assigned airmen and aircraft returned home as heroes. But as political and military tensions continued to escalate, the 379th Bombardment Wing was activated on November 1, 1955, and the legacy in honor of the group's heroic actions would live on through the wing. Over the next 50 years, the wing would operate the B-47 Stratojet and KC-97 Stratofreighter, and later the B-52 and KC-135 as a deterrent force during the Cold War and in various conflicts including Korea and Vietnam. In 1989, the Cold War symbolically came to an end with the fall of the Berlin Wall, and although the Soviet Union was collapsing, tensions around the world carried over in the Middle East. Though the 379th did not deploy as a unit, the wing's B-52s deployed to support Operation Desert Storm on the first day of the war. The B-52s honored their World War II heritage and marked their tails with the Triangle K. Shortly after, the wing was inactivated in June of 1992, and the last B-52 was flown to the Aircraft Maintenance and Regeneration Group, better known as the Boneyard, at davis Monthan Air Force Base for retirement. But all of this would change in less than 10 years following the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001. The fateful Al-Qaeda orchestrated terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001 forever changed the world, and by October 7, the air campaign for Operation Enduring Freedom launched. The first missions included five KC-10 extenders, providing critical refueling capabilities to the fight. These aircraft, along with the KC-135 Stratotankers, would be assigned under the 379th following its official reactivation as an air expeditionary wing in April 2002. The wing rapidly became one of the largest units in the region and flew more than 3,000 combat sorties by July that year. In little over a decade, the wing employed and supported more than 90 combat and support aircraft, including eight coalition airframes in support of operations Enduring Freedom and Iraqi Freedom. August 2010 marked the official end of combat missions in Iraq, and towards the end of 2014, combat missions in Afghanistan were officially ending, air operations tapered off, but as the ambitions of terrorist organization ISIL intensified, coalition intervention was undeniable. As threats from ISIL continued to intensify, U.S. and coalition forces focused air assets in the region under the operation that would later be named Inherent Resolve. Some of the first missions included humanitarian airdrops over Mount Sinjar. 379th C-130 Hercules and C-17 Globemasters delivered aid to thousands who were stranded without food and water while trying to escape ISIL. Since then, B-1 bombers staged out of al Yadid continue to target and destroy ISIL's command and control, logistics, and revenue sources, posing a persistent and lethal threat to the enemy. The 379th's B-1s played a crucial role in the liberation of Kobani, which had been a critical focal point in the anti-ISIS campaign. The 379th's KC-135 Strato tankers extend the range of our air operations, enabling a 24-7 presence in the skies over ISIL-controlled areas. The squadron, along with their aircraft maintenance unit, doubled in both personnel and aircraft in 2014 to support the increased operations in Iraq and Syria. The air campaign isn't over yet, and the 379th's efforts continue to support the comprehensive strategy to degrade and destroy ISIL by limiting the terrorist group's ability to lead, control, project power, and conduct operations. 